Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape. Um, in this video we're going to be looking at how we can curve text. If you're not familiar with the Bezier tool or with the text tools, click on the link in the top right hand corner and you can learn the basics. So to get started we're going to need some text. So if we go to our text tool, click on our canvas and we can just type in some text. If we go up, select the Bezier tool, we're going to draw a curve for our text to sit on. So now we've, we've dragged out a curved path and we've got our text. If we hold down shift and select both of them, we can then go up to text, put on path, and that will sit the text on the path. So let's just click off, get rid of that. If we want to move it along the path, we can go back to our text tool, click at the beginning, and then we can just add a few spaces and we can position our text where we want it on the path. Once we've got our text looking how we want it, then we're going to want to get rid of the path. There's two ways we can do this. If we want to keep our text editable, so we can continue going into it and using the text tool to edit our text, then we just want to hide the path. So to do that, all we're going to do is select path, go up to the fill and stroke menu box and hide the stroke. So now our text is nicely curved. We've got no line. One thing that you do want to do if you use this method is if you just go over both of them and group them together. And that just keeps them adjacent to each other when you're working on your project. You can also sit there and rotate it and things now, so and scale it. So that, that's one way we can go about removing the line. The other way we can get rid of our stroke is to convert our text into a path. Once we've done that, we can no longer edit it using the text editing tool. So to do that, we need to select our text, then go up to path, and down to object to path, click on that, and you've now converted it to a path. So we can now remove our stroke, and it's now a standalone object. So if we get our nodes tool, we zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. If we click on this, you can see that each of these now is an individual path. Um, this kind of gives you the options to change the appearance of your text. But you can no longer go in with the text tool. It just doesn't recognise it. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.